Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. Talking tropics here at 614. No active storms across the basin, but uh, now a couple of disturbances worth watching. One with that invest tag that's been propagating toward it into the Caribbean islands and another one that doesn't have a name now south of Bermuda. Low development odds on these two features over the next two to seven days. This one relatively close to home, so all the more reason to watch it day to day. You know we will. I should mention neither of these features enjoy much computer model support for development. Don became the first hurricane of the Atlantic Basin in 2023. Don is now extra tropical. It turned into a cold core system yesterday. Long tenured system. The next names on the list. No rush. Emily Franklin and Gert. Let's rush out outside because there's a nice view on your West Shore home. First alert sky cam from Wrightsville Beach and we'll hop over with the camera network to the Murkison building view downtown Wilmington. Fair skies, not completely clear and we are two ticks ahead of official sunrise time in Wilmington. 77 degrees over a 75 dew point already gives just the slightest bit of a heat index. Heat index going to become much more relevant later today and this week, and I'll spend some time talking about those metrics momentarily. Just to confirm, everybody in the 70s this morning, it's not just a Wilmington thing, and your radar scan free and clear of showers and thunderstorms, an important item to note if you're just about to step outside. No major storm systems traipsing through the eastern U.S., although as a disturbance, tracks through the mid-Atlantic. There is a severe thunderstorm risk outlook zone or two from our friends at the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center. So be watching the radar just to our north. We just have a kind of a general stray thunderstorm uh, contour for us. Orioles having a good season. Phillies trying to get back in the wind column against them today. So that could be a thing to watch as far as that severe weather risk to the north. Keeping eyes on the Cape Fear region though. Forecast overview is awesome. Closer look at heat index values may be more helpful for you, like close to 100 today as far as the feels like. For perspective, yesterday it was only 89 with a feels like of 97. So we're going to take the over on those metrics today. And right along the sea breeze, a shower storm could pop. But generally those rain chances low profile compared to the temps and heat index values pretty high profile, not just today, but the next few days after today. So heat precautions, rest, hydration, be neighborly. That stuff should be habitual, but always worth a mention in times like this and overnight lows 70 plus. Do you want to confirm that for you? How about rain chances? Not super high. Can't totally rule out a pop up each day, but again, that item uh, sentiment of no major storm systems in the region is something worth reiterating. So if you want to keep your garden green, you may have an irrigation session or two in your future as we head toward the weekend. Back to you.